Hi everyone, uh, I'm Kathy Dang, and I'm here to talk to you about inclusion. Um, so a lot of times people will say things about Hack Night, like, wow, it's like really diverse. Like, look, there are a lot of like men and women in the room, and look, there are developers and designers and government people and data people. Um, but I, and actually, yeah, ha Chai Hack Night is a lot better than the vast majority of tech meetups. Um, but I just wanna like push back on this kind of self-congratulation. Um, cause, uh, just counting bodies in the room is like a really simplistic view of inclusion. Um, the things that really ultimately matter are, uh, how people are participating, um, and how people are interacting with each other. And that's, that's like a much, much deeper thing. Um, so, uh, I've had a feeling for a long time that Hack Night was actually very male dominated. Um, but that's just a feeling. And what's more fun than a uh, uh, subjective feeling is objective data. Uh, so, let's see. I want to show you a new website that I built. Uh, you can get to it by Bitly, it's are men talking too much? <laughs> uh, and it's a timer. Um, and here you can say, ah, right now a man is talking. Or, oh, uh, it's not a man talking. Uh, and then it'll show the percentage right here. Um, so, I took this for a trial run at Hack Night a few weeks ago, uh, and does anyone want to guess uh, what it was? No? Too embarrassed? Okay. Well, it was 94% men <laughs> and 6% women. Uh, and this isn't even including Derek and Christopher, by the way. Uh, I was only counting the parts of Hack Night that are kind of un unmoderated. So things like announcements and questions and things like that. And this is kind of crazy because these are the types of things that are really hard to pay attention to if you're not like explicitly looking out for it. Like this is something that men are like very bad at noticing. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is very bad. And <laughs> I just want to remind everyone that uh, the most uh, creative and successful projects at Hack Night, I think, have been led by women. Um, so there was the School Cuts project. Uh, that was one that was really popular among parents. Uh, Claire's project, My Building Doesn't Recycle, is the first Hack Night project to actually like impact policy making, which is amazing. Rose and Genevieve started M Relief, and now that's a full-fledged nonprofit. So who's participating at Hack Night really matters. Um, so I made that Are Men Talking Too Much website um, because what gets measured gets managed. This is the idea that if you start quantifying something, uh, you'll get better at it because you're paying attention to it and you're focusing on it. Um, so my ask of you is one, uh, use my timer. Uh, you can also use it, you know, at meetings or like, I don't know, wherever. Um, and also another ask is if you're the type of person who talks a lot, um, maybe before like blurting things out, just think a little bit, like think, hey, like is this worth everyone's time? Uh, should I be listening instead? Should I give a chance for other people to talk? Um, and also I do wanna add that gender is just one small type of inclusion. It was just a simple thing that I was able to focus on. Um, but I really welcome everyone else to come up with your own hacks, um, your own small projects to uh, make Hack Night more inclusive. All right, thanks. <laughs>